And Dane, Dane for 15 bucks. I got a senior superintendent for a petroleum company. I don't want to mention names. Makes about 180,000 a year plus bonus. We have solved how do we get the girls seeking a range. Right? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> That's clean, easy, and fun. And they are nice. What the fuck? Um, you're 100% correct. Uh, you are you are not the only person or the first person I've heard who used the the seeking arrangement or sugar daddy sites. I know ten, about ten. We might be approaching a dozen here pretty soon. Uh, men who are very well off. They they have it. It's and it's really the opportunity cost. A lot of people, oh, you can't, you got to pay for it. It's like no, you, okay. When you all pay for it, you all pay for it, no matter what, in time or money or both or or psychology. But if you're making a lot of money, your opportunity cost to go out and, and, and date a girl, to court her, da, 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 and then three dates later, and 12 hours of your time and investment, <clears throat> probably four to $500 of your money, or like, hey, here's four to $500, come over here, and 30 minutes later, you go away. And, and Dane is also correct, There's, they're nice. Um, I have one agent in the field who has like two or three of them. And that was the thing he was talking about is how they're, they're nice. There's no drama. There's no like, what you bring to the table? There's no attitude. And it's so sad. It's like, wait, so if I just give you money and we know what this is about and this is, we're mature adults and then and, and, for some reason they're nice. I mean, and, and Dane, tell me if I'm wrong. Any of you guys out there that use the service, tell me if I'm wrong. By God, that's got to be worth a couple hundred bucks in itself. Let's compare and contrast. My Christian friend who has to go and play psychologist to the latest dipshit born again Christian girl with two rat bastard uh, crotch fruit uh, and debt and and working some shitty ass job, okay, and all that trial and tribulations. Well, you got to do blah blah blah. And Jesus said this, and the Lord, you know, here in the Bible says you better do that, otherwise you're not as good as Christ. Okay, dealing with that shit. Uh, what what would you pay to make that go away and just have a girl be a – I guess what we're looking for is kind of a geisha. Um, maybe this is the modern-day geisha because to not bore you with Japanese history or culture, uh, <clears throat> geishas were not just whores. They weren't just prostitutes. Geishas were uh, – uh, if you guys remember uh, Firefly, the courtesan, the the friend or whatever she was called. Uh, geishas were refined. They were trained on cultural affairs and politics. They would be able to have conversation. They would be able to converse. They were very appropriately and properly behaved. <clears throat> Pega did a podcast one time about an Asian girl who was just making bank on the internet as a, as a webcam gal. But it wasn't anything to do with her being hot as necessarily as she was just refined and feminine. And that's what, what geishas were. And in other words, they were pleasant company to be around. You enjoyed their company. My God, what's that? I mean, do the pie chart. Okay, I want to have sex. 60%, she's, she goes away. 15%, oh, she's nice on top of it. 35, 25%, however the number works out. And they're nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a pain. <laughs> not a pain. <laughs> and the girls think we're making the ladies. I just wish you go date. Go date your own kind and see what happens. We're not. It's, this isn't hate. This isn't oh the misogynies. This is oh you just the he man woman. Go date women. You'll find out. Heck, half you want to stab your BFFs in the back anyway. I think you know. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm real curious. Um, how much of that is just well? Here's another interesting observation. Okay, so in Vegas, uh. Prostitution is not legal in Vegas, by the way. I don't know how many times I got it. It's not legal in Clark County. You got to go out of Clark County, get it. But that doesn't prevent escort services uh, from existing. And I've always been amazed at what men will pay for what. I, for example, strip clubs are the dumbest thing ever. I cannot understand the strip. Like, really? Strip clubs? You're going to stand here to get tortured. Really? So I've never understood. But man, they throw in the money. Girls make the money. I'm also f fascinated with how... Uh, Strip clubs more or less have become digitized and the immense health benefits and the increase in income and the lack of overhead and, and not having to worry about the disease or the drug culture that young women now could avail themselves of. 
I mean, you guys may find it shameful, but it's a huge step up from stripping. Huge. An actual uh, prostitution. <clears throat> but in Vegas, what the big thing now is, is it's not even the escort and this girl. They call it the girlfriend experience. And I got a buddy. <laughs> I should have. I know you guys think I'm like old and wise and savvy, but the people who get in behind me and shoot me down are my friends. Well, I just assume the best of intentions. So I have this buddy and he's even shorter than me. Like, hey, what's up? Oh, and he had a date. Say, oh, hey, who's, who's the nice lady? He's, oh, this is whatever, Amy. Every girl in my life is Amy. Well, this is Amy. I'm like, oh, nice to meet you. And I said, well, how you kids meet? And he says, oh, well, we met on the internet. I'm like, oh, cool. Oh, what do you do for a living? And she's like, I'm, uh, I'm in nursing school. Oh, great. You're going to become a nurse. That uh, Dumb me. I'm like, oh, so have you guys been dating long? And, well, I didn't know because I hadn't seen him in months. Uh, no, this is our first date. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> and in the back of my mind, I'm like, dang, she's taller than me and she's really good looking. Oh, man, he punched above his. And then the light went on. I'm like, oh, that's why this conversation is so painful. And there's a pause between every question. <laughs> and then so I think she went to, maybe I caught up with her. I'm like, dude, why didn't you just say? He's like, what am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah, I got it. So this is the girlfriend experience. I'm like, what the fuck is the girlfriend experience? Like, oh yeah, you get these girls that go out on dates with you and they act nice and everything. I'm wondering if that, if there isn't more, like there may not have even been, I should have followed up. I should have followed up. Probably there is sex implied in it. I'm, okay, because that's every escort. But I'm wondering, is that really now the new market? Like, it's kind of like the porn for guys, there's so much regular porn out there. The porn is a girl who just puts on a nice dress and maybe shows up with a pan of cookies. Like, oh, wow, look, the traditional housewife who just, I don't know, showed up at the door to welcome you home, and she's prop, she's primped. Holy shit, that's hot. Is this not what it is? Like, the girlfriend, hey, she showed up on time. She treated me nice and asked me questions about myself and laughed at my stupid jokes. Like, oh, you mean like girlfriends used to do, like, 30 years ago? <laughs> But for free now, that's that's the hot item. That's not and you girls. You see, but I I don't like that aspect that you actually have to go out with the guy. There's a risk there. The internet, the digital thing. There's a lot of safety. A lot of safety. But man, if all it is, if you have trained guys, if if the cartel of women have kept kindness, politeness, and punctuality. And laughing at men's jokes. If they've kept those things off the market so long that men are willing to pay for it and you girls just have to show up and just be civil. I mean, we're not talking geisha level training where, where it's like, oh, yes, I, I, I listened to Trump's speech. And I thought, and then President Jin Hao, uh, I, I really appreciate it. But, but it's interesting, the, the exchange rate between the dollar and the yuan. I mean, we're not expecting that. But it's like, you know, hey. Look at that guy. He's wearing crocodile shoes. I wonder if he is a crocodile. <laughs> You're so funny. It's like, yay, she left at my joke. Here's your money. <laughs> oh, and it's no longer sex that's a commodity. It's being nice. It's being nice. It's being polite and showing up on time and now merely being a good and pleasant conversationalist. Oh, my God. Uh, Dane Lucero for another $15. Yeah, you're paying for downside protection from the risks of being a human tampon. So, so, you, are, so you do get that. Dane, send me an email. So I, I love your observation. Please send me an email. I'd love to have that on uh, maybe a show one of these days. I'll read through that. But yeah, look, look at that. Like, is there a concept anymore of mutually beneficial... Like we could be of benefit to one another. Like, hey, I come in and maybe I take, I pick you up and I kind of chaperone you around and, and I, I provide some witty entertainment and I try to intellectually. And, and then you just, you're nice to me and maybe you dress up pretty and, and, and you ask me a question or tell me about yourself. Is that, is, is that like we both help each other? Is that like long, is that even a pot or no? The standard now is we're going to be a pain in the ass bitch because we got to test you because you read on Cosmo. They have, you better take it. If you can't help me in my word, oh, by the way, I have kids. Is that the standard now? And and, and now we got to pay for 
simple politeness. <laughs> Apparently so. Apparently so. I, you got some great thing, great little observation about economics. Oh, my God. I can't believe pe- the gal who sold her bathwater. I can't believe it. Well, you better believe it because that's true. I can't believe the stock market's up that well. You better believe it because people are paying that level for prices. I can't believe housing prices. Well, you better believe it because that's economic reality. I can't believe kids are paying this much in tuition. Well, you better believe it because it's true. You know, and, and I guess the economic reality is I love a breakdown. Guys are paying just to be treated nice. <laughs> just just to not have someone come. Hey, man, 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 you better. See, I, got, I try and figure it out because I know some nice gals that wouldn't do that. But then I, I see online, all I see is he better. That's what I, he better. He better bring this, da 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 da, always the table. He better. Better have this, da 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 da. Uh, boy, you sound really fun and jovial to go out with. I think I'll go jerk off to porn. <laughs> What point are you looking at nowadays? Oh, this woman, she has her degree. She's a CPA and a stay-at-home housewife. She has her CPA. Oh, dude, that's hot. A CPA chick that stays at home. Yeah, and she's not 200 pounds. Oh, man, you live the dream. 